Also, Fan TV, um, good to get a win on um, today. Yeah, um, it is, but to be honest, nothing's changed in it. Like, one, one performance isn't going to change my mind. The last 10 performances hasn't changed it, and the next 10 ain't going to change it. Like, this time last year, at the end of the season, remember last season I had an interview with you at the end, when we came above Spurs on the last day, everyone was celebrating like everything was fine. That's our season highlight, finishing above Spurs. And I said to you in the interview, next season it's going to be the same thing. You said, what do we need to do? He's going to change. I said, it doesn't matter what we do, under Wenger, nothing's going to change. Yep. Yeah. And I said to you, as long as he's there, next season we're more likely to fall out of the top four than we are to win in the league. Yeah. And now look at the point now. We're more likely to fall out of the top four than we are to win in the league. Well, hold on, we were just one today. Yeah, so, but one game yeah. doesn't change that. We lost the last two. Yeah. At what yeah. point do you say there's enough? You, you can look at... We, we won many, quite a few before that. Yeah, but look what's going on now. At no season, at no, no part in the history of the Premier have you had six teams. Spurs, Chelsea, Tottenham, Man City, Liverpool and us all competing for the top four. Spurs have, brought, Spurs have made shitloads of progress. Whether you like it or not, I hate Spurs, but you have to admit, they've made shitloads of progress. And that hasn't come because they've got players that's way better than us. That's because they've got a manager who can instill a philosophy on the field. Same as Klopp. Yeah. Liverpool, got, Liverpool got no world-class players. We've got Ozil, Sanchez, Koshone, we've got world-class players. But then at the end of the day, you haven't got a manager who can instill a philosophy to these players to go and put that out on the pitch. Mm. At every other club in the world, the manager is accountable for all the decisions. Is the it? Is it? The tactics, everything. Is it respectful to be saying the things that you're saying, yeah. right? And it's your opinion. Mm -hmm. Now, when we know that, listen, he ain't going to walk away yeah. tomorrow. Is he? He's going to be here at least till the end of the season. Yeah. yeah. For all he's done, yeah. should we not just? Be like like Kalechi was just saying, should we all be getting behind him? You know, let, let, let it be known that, you know, if, if, if that's your opinion, that you'd yeah. like to see a change at the end of the season. But for now, be right behind him and the team. Robbie, I'm not behind him. I'm always behind the team. I support yeah. the 11 players on the pitch every, every single week, week in, week out. Because for them, it's not fair for them. We've got class players who deserve to be winning things and he's the one stopping them winning things. Sanchez is a winner. Ozil is a winner. These players win stuff international, everything. They're born winners. But it's not fair for them. Are they letting him down as well? That's another. That's what a lot of people have said. Uh, you know, those players, I mean, the performance in the first half in particular against Watford. I mean, whatever, we, whatever you say about the manager, I mean, those players on the pitch, the performance last week against Chelsea. What about the players? They don't seem to get any of the blame for it. What I've got to say to that is, it's been 10 years. We've had different sets of players. The one common denominator is Wenger and nothing's changed. We still get thrashed 8-2 to United, 6-0 to Chelsea, 5-1 to Liverpool. This, this shouldn't happen at a club like Arsenal. Yeah. This shouldn't happen. We should be the one doing that. But the players, we've got the players. If we have a manager who can instill a proper philosophy. He's, the guy himself said to you last season, judge me in May. We're coming on to the second mate and we still don't want to judge him. Why? Because he's Arsenal Wenger. I'm an Arsenal fan above everything. I love Wenger. Thanks to the that banner summed it up perfectly. Thanks to the memories, it's time to go. It's goodbye. Yeah. Who, 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 do you, who do you like to come in if, um, when, he, when he does go? To be honest, give anyone a chance. Any top manager who deserves a chance, whether it's Simeone, Allegri, yeah. Tuchel, anyone. What we have to do then and what shouldn't happen is not all the, all the AKBs and the Wenger in and you see them guys who are pushing out an agenda. Chris, the guy who comes on here as well, FK Hanaj on Twitter. They push, they love Arsene Wenger more than they love the club because they push out... Well, no, that's they, their opinion, no, isn't it? I'm going to tell you why. Because they post out of context statistics to support Arsene Wenger. If you have to look at it from an objective point of view and say what is best for Arsenal Football Club. And if you can, I can stand here and debate with you all day long. Wenger is not the man to take this club forward and he has to realise that himself. He's got the comfiest job. He takes eight mil a week. You've got people paying money. Uh, yeah. I, I, started smoking, I started smoking weed because of Wenger. That's how I, I swear to God. I swear to God. Because I can't, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. So forget money. Forget money. Forget money. I'll give my own health. So, you know what I mean? Like, get, uh, get, uh, get off that weed thing, man. You know what I mean? Get off that. We don't promote that. We don't promote that.